The delegation of local residents will travel to Charlottesville's sister city in Ghana. The city is called Winnebo and has a lot in common with Charlottesville. CBS 19's Courtney Stewart has more about the cultural exchange. Courtney? Rick and Tara, this is not the first Charlottesville group to visit Winneba, but with 56 travelers, it's by far the large, largest group of people to go at one time. I spoke with trip organizer Dave Norris and one of the people going along about why interest in this trip has been so high. Being a part of this trip is going to be healing. Fitness instructor and activist Myra Anderson is among the diverse group of people traveling to Charlottesville's sister city in Ghana next month. I've read about Africa in books, many, many, many books, but now being afforded the opportunity to get a bigger view, a global view, firsthand experience of some of these historical sites that I've only um, read about in books is very, very, very exciting. Dave Norris is head of the Charlottesville Winneba Foundation, which is organizing the trip. This is the fifth official delegation to Winneba, but with Charlottesville's first black female mayor leading the trip, interest this time around has been much higher. We made a decision to focus this trip specifically on doing a deep dive into the history of the transatlantic slave trade and the origins of slavery, and that's really, uh, I think, connected with people, particularly after what happened here in Charlottesville last summer. Winneba is a coastal community in Ghana, a country on Africa's west coast. It's about the same size as Charlottesville. Um, it's also a university town. It's home to Ghana's National Education University. Norris says the delegation will visit slave castles where captives were loaded onto boats bound for the New World. He hopes the trip will lead to changes here in Charlottesville. One of the p potential outcomes of this trip is to um, inspire some action to tell the story of slavery that, you know, now that it will be informed by knowledge of the, the roots of slavery and the, the origins of the, the slave trade. Anderson has made t-shirts for the delegation to wear and to share in Ghana. And she's counting the days until departure. And just the thought that in probably like 35 days, I'm going to be standing on African soil, watching the sun rise from Africa and just being in the very place from where my ancestors originated. That that thought has stuck with me and I haven't had my mind on nothing else. That's so cool. And yeah. um, I have some news. Yes. Okay. I am going to be one of those 56 people going thanks to a sponsorship from Virginia National Bank. That is incredible. And uh, what an experience it's going to be. Is there one thing in particular that you're really looking forward to? Well, I love travel. And so I'm super excited to experience new culture, see a place I've never been. And I'm also excited to be telling stories while I'm there and trying to help people who aren't along on the trip kind of see what it's like and have the experience along with us. Now, how's the trip being funded? Is it public money? No public money. It's all private money. Uh, there are 10 people who are going on either full scholarships or partial scholarships, so they're doing some fundraising. So if anybody has the ability to help out with that, you can see people are so excited to be going.